So we have this shape here, this box, and we're looking for the volume and we're looking for the surface area. So we have two things to find. So um, the volume is easy. So the volume, you may know already, there's just a simple formula. So for volume, it's three measurements. So it's just going to be the length, say by some width, by some height. So this is just like for a box, right? So, so when you're dealing with these um, boxy shapes like this, I mean, we're just talking about a length by width by height, so three measurements. And we're given the three measurements here, 10, 4, and 6, all centimetres. So there's going to be a 10 centimetre le length, and it's going to be a 4 centimetre height, and it's going to be a 6 centimetre, or sorry, 4 centimetre width and a 6 centimetre height. So when we look at all that, we looked, it looks to be something like 240. Now here's important, it's three measurements of centimetres, so it's centimetres cubed or little three on top. So that's like super important. Again, I mean I've said that in videos before, do not forget to put your units in, especially when they give them to you. So there's our volume, centimetres cubed. If it was area, it's normally like two measurements, right, that you're multiplying to get something. So it's centimetres squared. So now we move on to surface area. N not harder mathematically, but definitely trickier to think about. So for surface area, uh, this is the way I like to think about them. If you had to wrap this thing in paper, say wrapping paper, like how many sides would you have and what would the area of each side be? So let's think about that. So we have the top and bottom. So let's write the top and the bottom. Okay. We also have the front and the back that you can't see. The front and the back. And let's also say then we have the two sides. Right, so let's say um, side one. And we'll call this side one here. And we'll say side two. And this being side two here. Okay, so that's six. So, so if you think like a cube, like a dice, or die, I suppose, singularly, that's six sides to that. So the box also has six sides. So we're going to have to get each side, an area for each side, and add all those answers together. So let's look at the top. So the top is this stuff here. Right, so what's this length here? Well, it's the same as this length down here, which is four centimeters. What's the length? It's the same as this length down here, which is 10 centimeters. So that's 4 centimeters by 10 centimeters. Two measurements, 4 by 10 is 40. So that's 40 centimeters squared. Yeah. It turns out that the bottom or the side opposite is also the same. So it's directly below it, isn't it? It's like looking down. So the top and the bottom are both the same. It's going to be the same for the front and back. Once we get the front, it's going to be the same as the back. So what's the front? Well, the length is 10. And the width, or the height in this case, I suppose, is 6. So that's just a simple 10 centimetres by 6 centimetres, which gives me 60 centimetres squared. So let's put a box around all these ones. So I have the top done, which is the same as the bottom. I have the front done, which is also going to be the same as the back. Okay, now side one and side two. So let's look at side two because we can clearly see that. So it has a width of four and a height of six. So yeah, it's simply just four centimeters by six centimeters, which gives us 24 centimeters squared. Yep, and it turns out that side two and side one are the same. I actually put side two in for side one, but they're both the same. So this is also 24 centimeters squared. So again, so, I have each side calculated, one, two, three, four, five, six. So all six sides come together now. They don't multiply, we're adding them all together. So we're taking the front and the back, we just add them all up. So all these numbers in red boxes, I'm gonna add all these. So I have, let's squeeze it in here. So I have 40 plus 40 plus 60 plus 60 plus 24 plus 24, and when I add all those together, let's think about this, so that's 80, that's 120, that's 80 120 is 200, 24 and 24 is 48, so I end up with 248 
and of course the unit it's a surface area it's centimeters squared and that's it so remember the surface area is not tricky it's just a lot of areas all coming together so don't worry about it and just take your time count how many sides that you have and when you count how many sides that you have just make sure you have each side accounted for and add all your answers together and that's it okay